Old but gold. Meet the upgraded Warthog. In a world where advanced technology and cutting-edge designs often take center stage, there's one aircraft that's defied the odds, proving that sometimes the old ways are the best ways. Meet the A-10 Thunderbolt II, also known as the Warthog, a rugged and indomitable icon of military aviation. This veteran aircraft has been going strong for nearly half a century, and it shows no signs of stopping. Thanks to a series of upgrades that keep it relevant and formidable on the battlefield. As you keep watching, prepare to be amazed by the Warthog's unmatched abilities, its powerful arsenal, and the legendary tales of its grit and determination in the face of adversity. Whether you're a military enthusiast or simply curious about the world of aviation, the A-10's unforgettable brrrr will leave a lasting impression. The Warthog's unwavering dominance in the skies stems from its specialization in close air support, its unique ability to loiter over the battlefield, and its steadfast commitment to ground forces. While the technologically advanced F-35 Lightning may seem like the future of military aviation, it simply cannot rival the A-10's unparalleled proficiency in these key areas. Consequently, the cost of retiring the Warthog would outweigh any perceived benefits. So, how does the future look for this enduring legend? A series of cutting-edge upgrades will ensure that the Warthog remains a vital asset to the U.S. Air Force for years to come. With improvements in weaponry, communication, and targeting systems, the A-10 is poised to maintain its legacy as a formidable and respected force in military aviation. The A-10, a single-seat aircraft with two engines, hunts down its targets tanks, armored vehicles, and other ground enemies. While it's not as elegant or smooth as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle or the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the Warthog has its own unique set of skills needed to do its job. In the heart of this aircraft lies its main weapon, the 30mm GAU-8A Avenger, a seven-barreled Gatling-style giant. This impressive weapon, one of the most powerful aircraft guns of its size, has a weight of almost two American tons. With an incredible firing speed of 3,900 rounds per minute, it can break through armored vehicles at an amazing distance of 1,312 yards, shooting 65 rounds per second. And with an impressive 80% accuracy before its barrels get too hot, the Avenger is a key part of the A-10 Warthog's success. No wonder the gun has earned such a fearsome reputation. Reloading this weapon is quite the spectacle, too. The unmistakable sound of the Avengers brrr, is renowned for its power. Replacing such a gun wouldn't only strip the aircraft of its charm, but also prove to be a challenging and expensive endeavor. Of course, the gun isn't the only weapon on the aircraft. With 11 distinct hardpoints, 3 under the fuselage and 8 under the wings, the Warthog can carry up to 7.93 tons of various weapons. Among these are the AGM-65A and AGM-65B Maverick high-precision anti-tank missiles, with a launch range of up to 17.4 miles, and homing capabilities based on the fire-and-forget principle. The aircraft also boasts an array of rockets, high-precision bombs, and conventional bombs. Designers even crafted a guided high-precision bomb, the small-diameter GBU-39 SDB. This bomb, weighing 250 pounds, is equipped with a guidance system and wings. Thanks to the BRU-61A beam system, it's possible to launch up to four GBU-39SDBs or GBU-53B Stormbreaker bombs, each weighing 250 pounds per pylon. Such weaponry enables the attack aircraft to strike anti-aircraft missile systems comparable to the Russian Tor M2 and Pantsir S1, while remaining beyond their reach. Furthermore, the upgraded Warthog will integrate with unmanned aerial vehicles that will transmit target coordinates. This legendary attack aircraft is also as easy to maintain as one could wish for and doesn't require special runway conditions. So, what makes military pilots so fond of the A-10, and why has it become so famous? Many military experts and international observers were surprised by the A-10's performance during the events of the Persian Gulf in 1991. This subsonic attack aircraft proved its worth, standing alongside the F-15 fighter and the F-117 stealth strike aircraft as a hero.
During Operation Desert Storm, 144 combat vehicles participated, and the Warthog excelled in its main task, hunting tanks with astounding results. Its exceptional maneuverability at low altitudes allowed the aircraft to evade enemy attacks. Moreover, the A-10's high maneuverability, excellent visibility from the cockpit, and slow flight speed enabled it to hit even small targets on its first run. The Warthog was responsible for disabling over 1,000 Iraqi tanks, around 2,000 other armored vehicles, 1,200 artillery pieces, and two helicopters. During this time, only seven vehicles were shot down and about 15 were damaged. The Warthog demonstrated its resilience, with one Thunderbolt restaining severe wing damage but still managing to return to base, a feat any other aircraft couldn't achieve. American and coalition forces are in the 68 early of the A-10s also participated in Operation Iraqi Freedom in March and April 2003. Once again, the tenacious Warthog proved its remarkable vitality in an air battle over Baghdad. Despite severe damage, a hydraulic system failure, damage to one engine, and hundreds of holes in the fuselage, wing, and plumage, the plane still reached the airfield in southern Iraq. The aircraft was piloted by Colonel Kim Killer Chick Campbell, who received an award for her maneuver. The Warthog's ability to return to base with only one engine, half the tail, one rudder, and half the wing isn't a fluke, it's by design. The aircraft's control systems have triple redundant reserves, including two hydraulic and one manual. It also features two 115,200 volt three phase alternators and an emergency source, a 34 AH battery with a 24 volt output voltage. An auxiliary power unit provides power when the engines aren't running and ground power sources aren't connected. Additionally, parts of the systems and cockpit are protected from guns up to 23 millimeters. The attack aircraft's unusual engine placement in separate nacelles also serves as protection against ground fire. At one point, the decision was made to replace the high-temperature turbofan bypass engines TF-34 GE-100F developed by General Electric with modern power engines that offer similar thrust but lower fuel consumption and weight as well as longer duration. It remains to be seen if the awkwardly protruding chassis will be replaced. Perhaps this is a necessary, pragmatic approach that allows for the possibility of landing the attack aircraft on its belly. Overall, the A-10 represents the pinnacle of Fairchild Republic's functional approach. Work is being done on structural fatigue by replacing airframe elements. Most recently, the 109th Thunderbolt received new wings, designed for 10,000 flight hours. The attack aircraft has also transitioned from its analog roots to the modern digital battlefield. The first step was the A-10C Precision Engagement Program, featuring the HOTUS or Hands-On Throttle and Stick System, already known to modern fighters. With its implementation, the pilot can perform most of the functions of controlling the aircraft without removing their hands from the control lever. Other new features on the Warthog include multifunctional screens and displays on helmets, as well as new optoelectric containers or radars. It's possible that the multifunctional display from the F-16 will make its way to the attack aircraft, with two displays added as part of the precision engagement package. Next, the aircraft will receive a Link 16 connection, which will enable a much broader and more efficient data exchange. To date, the use of helmets with an integrated Scorpion helmet-mounted queuing system has already begun. Signs from listening or sniper systems are set to be supplemented with a Synthetic Aperture Radar or SAR. This will allow for more detailed area displays. The choice might just land on the active electronically scanned array AESA ANASQ-236 Dragon's Eye, as it not only displays the area with near photographic accuracy, but also detects objects hidden deep underground. Though it seems that the planned package with all of these new additions is quite extensive, it is, in fact, a scaled-down version of what was initially offered. However, even in this reduced version of the upgrades, the U.S. Air Force no longer receives a mere cannon with wings, but a fully equipped flying bomb train. The A-10 was developed during the Cold War between the U.S. and the USSR, and at one point it was assigned the role of a ruthless destroyer of Soviet tanks. 
For instance, on February 24, 2022, when Russian troops invaded Ukraine, the Warthog would have been there to patrol the skies. What a fantastic target it would have had! A massive column of tanks and armored vehicles up to 40 miles long. Of course, slow, low-altitude flights against heavily armed foes require robust ballistic protection and nerves of steel. The A-10 provides the first, while the Air Force provides the second. This heavily armed, highly maneuverable attack aircraft is a force to be reckoned with, and all other parameters in such a situation become secondary. After all, no aircraft enters the heart of a firefight more often than the Warthog. What do you think? Could a few squadrons change the course of hostilities in Ukraine? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. There's more excitement to come, so stay tuned.